So migraine has posed a big challenge because despite the disability uh, that is suffered by the 36 million patients in the, uh, just in uh, the U.S. alone, we do not have drugs that have specifically been designed for migraines, and we are forced to utilize drugs that were primarily designed for treatment of epilepsy, high blood pressure, uh, or other, or antidepressants uh, to, uh, as a treatment modality. This group of drugs, if it becomes a reality, will be a landscape uh, change because they really will allow us to proactively prevent the disability coming from the migraines instead of trying to catch up after the migraine has happened and try to treat it with pain medications or even migraine-specific medications that do not seem to work as well as this might prevent the headache from occurring in the first place. So these are early results, and the CGRP has been a target for a very long time. Our previous attempts came with significant concerns for patient safety, and they'd never made it into the real world. This time around, we have a fresh approach. We do need more studies before we are ready for prime time. We are watching this group of drugs very carefully because we are at the epicenter of the migraine crisis, uh, and we are very good at what we do, and we would like to bring this op advanced innovative option for our patients. And we would like to participate in the, the phase three trials as they come along.